it's about five or six weeks too late, but I finally got it. I have a 3D printer. Ow! Mm. This is my unboxing video of the RepRap Prusa i3 shipped by mixshop.com. This is going to be a short service review as well to their poor service, which I will get into. Make a long story a lot shorter than it should be, and mixshop.com does not ship within their time frame. They say three weeks lead time, one week shipping. They give me like eight or nine weeks in total. That's ridiculous. A lot of the excitement that I had for getting a 3D printer was almost all gone, but now I finally have it and now it just it kind of sparked it up. I got to make this video. I got to show you guys what it's all about. Let's open it up right away. This is what comes inside the box. That doesn't look very impressive. <laughs> Just a little invoice. There's not even a thank you for no waiting kidding. so damn long. No. Packed with your mama's saran wrap. So it looks like the frame is made of laser cut MDF or some kind of hard board. Check that out. Pretty nice uh, precise work. Styrofoam packing. Ooh, we got ourselves some electronics. We have T5 timing belt right there. And some fans with a whole bunch of wire, bolts, nuts, washers, metric of course, and zip ties. I could get zip ties anywhere though. Couple of limit switches, I think. Nope, this is just a power supply and a rocker switch. Get that. Man, that's a tiny little timing belt. Printed parts. The whole thing about the RepRap project is that it is based on self-replicating machines. So the whole point of having a RepRap is that you can make parts for your own RepRap. So of course, one of the first things I'm gonna do is probably print myself a, a set of brand new rep wrap parts in case one of them fail. Uh, the build quality on this is definitely FDM. So uh, I'm guessing one of the mix shop companies rep wraps printed these. It's pretty low quality, a little dirty too. I don't know what they built it with, but uh, yeah, I get that. It's, it's pretty, if, if I could build this kind of quality with this printer, oh man, I'm in business. Yeah, it feels like plastic. Like Lego? That's actually plastic. Like Lego. Honestly, I've I've done so much research about 3D printers and it does not beat feeling it. I have never actually seen a 3D printer, I think, in real life, and finally here it is. Like ribbon cable, USB cable. You want to be able to talk to this machine. You got all sorts of crimps and connectors. Although I do have my own connectors, I could always crimp my own. That is no big deal. Uh, limit switches, I think. I, these are little tiny limit switches. And, uh, oh man, this is getting fun. Power supply cable. And in this little bundle, we have the precision ground smooth rods for linear movement across the different axes of, of uh, movement. And in this bundle we have, this is threaded rod, I don't know if you could see the threads. I'll have to talk about the different improvements we can make on this machine in later videos, but this is just regular threaded rod, it's nothing special, it's not lead screw, it's not a ball screw or anything, it's just threaded rod, just about as much backlash as you could get. Same thing with the, the, the timing belts, but we'll get into that in a different episode. Holy shit. NEMA 17 stepper motors. Four of them. The actual electronics are in this box. We have an LCD screen. 
some kind of cable holder, like a spiral uh, <laughs> book binding cable holder. I forget what this is, but I think it's either the, the Babois box or the ramps. This is definitely the stepper motor driver and I have confirmed that this is the Babois box. It, uh, it says it right on the silk screen there. We'll have to take a closer look at this in a separate video. Wow, that is the, I think this is a fully assembled extruder. Check that out. It's got the NEMA 17 motor on it, a little <laughs> cooling fan. Uh, I, I did not expect this to be fully assembled, but it's got all the plastic parts to actually guide the plastic filament right through. And I just want to mention how this is built straight out of someone's garage. This is a genuine Primo precision ground L bracket that you could find at Home Depot for uh, probably two or three dollars. It's all, it's all started to oxidize and rust, but it does have pre-tapped holes and stuff that I don't even know are supposed to be used for the 3D printer. So check that out. Oh, this is very important. The power supply. Nowadays, you see this, this exact same box in many different designs for 3D printers and CNC machines alike. Pretty cheap feeling. But hey, made in China. We have a laser cut piece of acrylic for holding the bed in place and the heated bed with, I think, is a captain tape sheet or some kind of captain or heat resistant sheet right there so that you could just put that on top of your build platform. And last but not least, we have the final piece, uh, the final chassis element here. This is definitely made out of some kind of thick plastic. I don't know if you could get acrylic in this big. I don't know what kind of plastic that is, but it is definitely sturdy. Even though it's a sheet, it's pretty sturdy when I'm trying to flex it both ways. And that's it guys, that's it for the unboxing. Okay. So guys, I guess it starts here. Start giving me some ideas, 3D prints, like what you guys want printed, I will do it. Depends. I mean, you know, there's some pretty gross stuff I could print out, but uh, maybe I won't do it because it's a waste of plastic or even a waste of my time. So I didn't realize until just now, but Mix Shop's company name is right on the frame. So you might want to go check out their website. You might love it. Actually, I think you will love it. It's got a beautiful layout. It says so much about their printers and just explains, you know, they got four different kinds of printers that you could check out. It's really, really nice interface, very comfortable. But then you buy it and then eight weeks later, you're waiting for it still and you're going, where's my printer? Don't let that shy you away from buying from Mix Shop. I'm sure they are uh, reputable enough, except they are getting quite some flack from inconsistency in their service. So just keep that in mind. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick, short episode. Give it a thumbs up if you like it. Subscribe to my channel. I have a website at www.tinmanelectronics.com. Follow me on Twitter, at Justin Tinman. That's engineering, guys. What is that? Like a, a teaser? I think that's what they call it, right? A teaser? Because I'm gonna be doing a shitload of more 3D printing in the future?